Oh good, now I have 44 minutes. <laughs> oh my, I had a terrible buildup in my trash, both in the gallery and in the photos. I forgot all about that. I was like trying to delete a lot of things. Yeah, and that's why I only had six minutes left in memory. This is a terrible phone and as soon as I have the gumption to do it, I'm gonna switch over to my brand new phone, which has a ton of memory. Yay! Okay, so I took that cold cup of compote and I added a half a cup and then that just didn't look good. So then I added a whole bunch more fruit and only one tablespoon of syrup. So this is gonna make enough, hopefully, for two nice big servings of fruit with syrup on my waffle. Yes. Mercy. Okay, I think I'm gonna make some more cowboy coffee. Now I've got a lot of um, grounds still in this baby, and I'm gonna add my cold coffee. Yeah. And a little bit more water because it's a mess. This place is a mess. Okay, so back to my story. I wanted to see Finn's first practice for baseball. Oh, he's doing so good. I'm so proud of him. Excuse me a minute. I need a garbage bag to start working on all this stuff. Oh, I'm telling you. I just can't keep up anymore because... Well, the truth of the matter, I couldn't walk. What happened? So I, it, and my son Michael, oh, he's so good to me. He, he stayed with me while I'm crippling along with my cane. And uh, it was so much fun. Uh, and oh, they have a little uh, snack bar, you know? And uh, I, I forewent snacks because I knew we were gonna go eat out, which we did. And then, uh, it was just me and the boys that night. Now he just got too tired, she said. I'll throw away some of these bottles here. I need a little more water. I don't drink the faucet water. Mm -mm. Um, why? I don't trust it. I like spring water, and I use Zephyr Hills. I'll be right back. I need a bottle of that right now. I use Zephyr Hills, and my daughter Bonnie has asked me to please find some sort of... Um, what do you call it? Some sort of something. You know, a water purifier and quit using plastic bottles. I'm gonna pour some of that in here. Yeah. Oh, lovely. This is heating up nicely. I'm just, uh oh. Syrup on the stove, you know what that means. Ants. So, yeah, we have these ants, but they. They kind of look like little bitty spiders, and they're attracted to anything that's sweet or bready. Ah, oh, Florida, sometimes I swear. But, uh, okay, so that first day, that was a Wednesday, I do believe. Mm -hmm. No, it was a Tuesday. I went, last Tuesday, I went and I walked to the ball field, watched the game, came back. The next day, I felt so good. I knew that I would now. And so I went over to the house because I had to return Denny's car because my van was still in the shop. It's home now. We'll talk about that later. And what happened? And so he said, want to go get coffee? And I said, I've had coffee, but sure, let's go for it. And I got a sugar-free macchiato vanilla, something or other, and what happened? I know something happened, and he said, let's go do something else. So, I said, let's go to the beach. Gosh, we haven't been to the beach a long time. Once we got there, he's like, why didn't we bring our swimming stuff? I said, I don't really feel like swimming, I feel like walking, and we walked this little nature walk. It's like a boardwalk. It has a, a what do you call it? Okay, I think this is good enough. Hopefully the strawberries will defrost because they're always the last ones to defrost. Now I'll put my coffee there and put that on high. Where was I at? 
So we walked the boardwalk. I gotta tell you, that's a scary boardwalk because some of those boards they need replacing, man. Whew. Florida, you know, everything rots fast. Humidity, it's horrible. But uh yeah. So I walked without a cane, guys, from the parking lot to the boardwalk, through the entire boardwalk, sat and rested, walked back, had to rest one more time, back to the vehicle, and I couldn't believe it. The next day was my medical marijuana doctor appointment, and that's in the middle of town. And there was no parking, because Remind, reminder to self, never near lunchtime do you make an appointment in town. No parking, and I did find a space, thank God, and I was actually able to park my van there, which was a miracle. And, uh, cause you know, between two vehicles, and I'm like, you know, 20 times, you know, back it up, bring it forward, back it up, bring it forward, until finally I was off the road enough that I wouldn't get a ticket. And then uh, I walked to the doctor's appointment, which was about a block. And after I got out of there, I just felt good. I was like, this is a cute little town. I'm so glad I live here. And so I decided to go across the street from my medical marijuana doctor and go to this wonderful little restaurant that I'd gone to by fate with Bonnie. And they have the most delightful Greek salad. So I ordered that and I asked, do you have a smaller order of fries than this $5 order of fries? She says, well, we have a $3 order of fries, which was huge. So I ordered that and I ate about 10 fries. And maybe that's what did it, I don't know. I think it was the walking. Then I walked back to my van and uh, I went home. And it started that evening, this cramp in my mid back, right about there, right? And then the next day, it was worse. It was like traveling. And I had to call, well, that night, that was a Thursday night, I was supposed to babysit, but Finn had a fever, and I said, I'm sorry, I'm not coming if he has a fever. But then his fever went away, but I still was not feeling quite well because the spasms. So I stayed away, and then the next day, all hell broke loose on Friday and uh, with my back and so I had to call her and say I'm in trouble I have to you know renege I'm so sorry because I know that had to be hard for her I missed uh, a whole four days of helping her out I feel so bad about it what did, what did I do wrong I'm not sure it's taken me a long long time to recover a whole week <clears throat> I'd say I'm in better shape now. Um, all those spasms have gone and I'm using another homeopathic remedy because I got a bunch of them coming on Friday which I'm going to use and um, right now I'm using one that's uh, specified for the lumbar and uh, degeneration of discs and prolapse and all this other stuff that you know I'm trying to heal my lumbar and uh, so Plus, I've been saying as many Florence Scovulsion affirmations I can possibly say. And I'm trying to watch my words. I Sometimes I get resentful, and I've had to check myself on that. Because, uh, you know, with this way of thinking about, you know, bringing good things to yourself, you've got to push good things out of yourself, too. And when I, I just... Sometimes if I see a couple traveling, oh, it wells up in me and I have to call on the law of forgiveness and say, God, forgive me, I'm being a dip. And then I bless the persons I resent with light and love. Because it isn't their fault that my life is where it's at right now. And why would I be angry at someone who has absolutely nothing to do with my life? Why would I resent or be hurt? It's not a good place to be. And, and it brings illness. As a matter of fact, she said in, uh, oh, what is that? Her second book. Her first one was The Game of Life. The second was uh, The Power of the Spoken Word. 
I think that's what it's called. And I've been listening to that. No, no, your your word is your wand. I think that's the one I'm listening to now. Your word is your wand. And she's, she's going through affirmations and she says at the end, you know, the causes of um, illness and rheumatism, uh, criticism, and I'm very critical. I, I really am. I seem like a really nice person, but I always say the meanest things sometimes, like people I don't even know. I, it's kind of like a family curse thing. Uh, my mom was like that. I became like that, and now I'm trying to stop, and it isn't easy. But the minute I think a thought that is not pure light, I call on the law of forgiveness, and I say, God, I apologize. Help me not to be bitter, not to be resentful, and not to be critical, because that could be the very cause of my arthritis. And so I'm working on self-improvement. So yeah, there are things about me that aren't good, definitely. And um, being bitter over your circumstance. And, you know, I gotta be grateful because I wake up and there's joy. I'm like, I'm not in a van. It was 42 degrees last night in Florida. I would have had to run a cook stove and risk dying of asphyxiation, you know, had I been living in a van. Plus my van, as you know, bless my van and may it last me, even though I'm spending a fortune, it doesn't matter. Bless my van that it keeps on running, but it hasn't been the most reliable vehicle, but it's gonna be. So, where am I at here? Oh, did I cook my, did I cook my, coffee? Hmm. I'm losing track of everything here now. So yeah, so I had a really rough week and I'm back to my better self. I don't know that I'm completely healed because, uh, but I'm working on it, you know. Um, I know that I'm just not going the route of surgery. I haven't even called a new neurosurgeon to even talk about other possibilities. Uh, right now, I feel that uh, my body will heal itself, and I'm going to do everything in my power and in my mind to make that a reality for me. So, what else? So, my food. I just, yesterday I got a Walmart order, and I ordered this So Frozen coconut milk, non-dairy dessert, I do not recommend it. Now, I can't taste, but I can tell you this. It, it, no. I can feel it, okay? I know that sounds crazy, but it's like, what's wrong with this? Something's not right. The texture is weird. The essence is weird. It's weird and I will never order that again, and it's a good thing that I'm not attracted to that at all. It's probably going to go in the garbage, a very expensive mistake. Maybe I'll eat one teaspoon a week until it's gone. <laughs> Anyhow, so I got that in the chips because last night was movie night, and as I was telling you, Rachel and I are going to have once a week, we have a movie night. Last night was um, Godzilla something or other, king of something or other. Anyway, it was like a made in 2019 maybe? I, I don't know. But um, it was with that uh, Kyle Chandler. Lordy, he's fine. Makes an old woman wish she were young again. Anyhow, so yeah, uh, we and I, I bought chips for that occasion and ended up eating them way before the movie. And then um, I had a hot dog. I bought hot dogs and buns because I've been craving hot dogs so bad. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna count the calories of the things I wanna eat. So what I eat yesterday, I had my waffle with compote. And then I ate, later in the afternoon, I had a 
big bowl of romaine with some tomatoes and onion and some penne that I cooked and I made up my own little uh, dressing of olive oil, uh, balsamic and a little bit of maple syrup which I'm not ever going to add that again. I didn't like it. I just put a teeny tiny but still it was just too sweet for me and uh, some um, what do you call it salt and uh, Italian seasonings and I poured that on this pasta salad I'd call it. I ate that. Oh I was starving. I was starving all night and then uh, and then I ate a few more chips and then um, an apple and uh, that was during um, the movie. We take breaks because we both have to go to the bathroom pretty often because of our medical problems and um, yeah I, I always feel like I gotta pee. It's not pleasant but you know it's just where I'm at and so um ah, aging it ain't for sissies is it so um yes we both you know I'd say bathroom break and we'd stop the movie we would one two three press so that we could you know ca it's very hard for both of us to start the movie exactly at the same place and so one of us may have to wait while the other goes ahead a few seconds and stuff like that and we finally got it and um so we're watching that and we only got halfway through when she became very tired at 10 o'clock her time and 11 o'clock my time and I said well I wouldn't mind winding down now so we're gonna finish that movie I don't know when the next time we have movie night and uh, uh, so that I, that's why I wanted the chips for movie night now I don't want the chips and so I, I don't know if I should just throw them out or give them to the kids I don't think I should give them to the kids why would I want to put that temptation on them? I could tape it and stick it out on the foyer table with a note saying, you know what, I, I did put my hand in the bag. I think I'll throw them out. Okay, so, yeah, that's what I've been doing, but uh, counting calories as closely as possible. I probably didn't count that last handful of chips I was eating, and I dipped it in some hummus because I was hungry. I was hungry at 11 o'clock and I ate a few chips and some hummus and, um, and that was the end of my night and so today is a new day and I'm going to eat a waffle with my fruit and uh, I don't know I just wanted to talk to somebody so here I am I've been alone for a week except for Rachel her and I call and call and call we talk for hours and then Bonnie called me and we talked for an hour and a half and then uh, another creator called me uh, Blue Rose Ramblings and we talked for an hour and a half and so, you know, it's good. It's good to have a company here and there. And, uh, yeah, but I'm feeling lonely and disconnected. Uh, so I think I'm going to get out today. And, uh, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Just try to, uh, it's just that, oh, mercy, just standing here hurts. But um, that's okay. I'll just keep taking my homeopathy. And I think I'm going to do some stretches today, some like warm up exercises and not the actual exercises, just to start getting back into the swing of exercising because I, I quit. I quit a lot. I, the problem is the fibromyalgia, which gives me extreme fatigue. And when I'm fatigued, uh, it's tough. But then I was having some good days, so I was walking walking and then I lost a week so back to the old drawing board and that's okay you know never give up and never give in just keep pressing every little thing you do toward your self-improvement is self-improvement it's gonna make you feel better I'm gonna feel better when I do my exercises I'm gonna say yay me and there's my chair for my exercises I'll show you part of my crazy mess. Right there, I use that little chair. But uh, I started picking up my Christmas stuff and that's a big plus. In a few days or a week, I'm gonna try to attack the bathroom. I'll just take it one piece at a time. Maybe like spray down the toilet and wipe that and you know, scrubby brush the inside. And that'll be the first thing I do. Then I'll move to the sink and the mirror and do all that. The tub is going to have to wait. It ain't, it ain't horrible or anything like that because it's just me, you know.
now and uh, so yeah it doesn't get bad but the water here has a yellowish whatever's in it and it, it tints the tub it, it's tinted the the bath mat so badly I'm gonna try maybe grabbing a bottle putting some bleach and water in it and spraying it down see if I can get it back to clear right now it's yellow brownish yellow it, it looks like Goulden's mustard it's nasty the water here is nasty another good reason not to drink their water if it does that to the tub in the sink what on earth does it do your insides what's in it well that's about it 20 minutes and I'd say that's my story and I'm sticking to it so just you know self-improvement better yourself ask for forgiveness when you feel bitter resentful angry about your circumstances bless your surroundings and have a gratitude that's the way out of sorrow okay that's it. Love y'all. Bye. All right, now where are you here?